So, um, I'm going to spend the next uh, hour and a quarter, I think, um, about kind of stuff that's going on in the job world. This is sort of kind of, you know, the, the, I feel like I do the same spot that they take days every time. It changes a little bit, you know, as, as the world evolves. But, um, you know, there's a bunch of new stuff that's happened over the last year. Uh, since we were here, so I'm going to try to go through that and sort of focus on those points. Um, but you know, there's a lot of stuff that goes on in the couple world. A lot of it seems like it's going in a lot of different directions. Um, most of the folks, you know, if you, if you sort of did a count of software developers, mostly people are doing enterprise stuff, but you find people doing an amazing amount of desktop work, um, I'll be enough media work. Uh, a surprising amount of, of high performance computing. Um, and lots of like mobile and embedded stuff. Uh, and I'll touch on them a little bit. Uh, but let's, let's sort of go through. But at first, Oracle requires a safe fiber statement. The, the lawyers say, read this. You've done that. Thank you. I'm done. Uh, so the thing that takes all those areas and ties them together is the networks. I mean, the network really is the unifying theme of everything that we do in the Java world. And these days, it's pretty much the unifying theme of not all software that people are doing, right? Because everything over the last uh, 20 years has become connected to everything else. And it's not just the server rooms. It's, it's, it's absolutely amazing. <laughs> and it's dealing with all the repercussions of the network is really what, what drives all the architectures of all the systems that we're all that we're all building. And you know, if you're a sort of a, a great haired person like me and you sort of grew up before networking, you know, the, the contrast is really, really huge. Um, you know, fortunately I started writing networking code about thirty years ago. Um, and that was that was a lot of fun. But this is a this is a, this is like a whole new world and it's really, really exciting. Um, so yes, Sun and Oracle smushed together, now it's Oracle. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's been an entertaining time coming together as one company. I can't say we've actually come together. It's sort of more of a process than an event. Um, you know, the, 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 you know, we kind of have to, you know, the, the Sun crowd kind of has to teach the, the, the Oracle crowd how to have a sense of humor. Um, they're, they're, they're kind of not too good at that, but they'll, they'll get over it. Um, I promise you. It's, it's okay to have fun. You know. uh, I keep trying to tell that to all the employees, and they just look, huh? <laughs> you have permission to have fun. Anyway, in the job world, the statistics continue to be you know, pretty stunning. Um, you know, for the Java runtime environment, we're averaging somewhere for 15 million daily downloads every week. Um, it goes, it peaks at, at larger numbers. You know, I think our annually our largest peak is just before tax season in Brazil. Um, for people who live in Brazil, that there are no paper forms to fill out for income taxes. You can only do your taxes electronically. And the only way to do it is with a Java app. Actually, I had a couple of different Java apps. I was one of the desktop app and I have a mobile app. So you can actually do your, your, uh, your, your taxes on your cell phone. Um, but in, uh, in the like, like two weeks meeting up the taxes in Brazil, that's our peak download rate that everybody in, this, in, in, in Brazil upgrades pretty much at the last moment. So, but there, there are events like that all over the world that, 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 that drives drive some of the peaks. And of course, when we you know, put out a new release, the peaks are wider. So, but the adoption of Java worldwide is just, is just huge and continues to be huge. Um, there are now somewhere around 10 million Java enabled devices out there. Um, so, there are actually more Java devices than there are humans on the planet. So, I'm kind of this. Kind of a freakish uh, sort of statistic. 
course, it's kind of it's kind of a lie because over half the number of smart cards, so maybe they don't count. Um, but a billion billion are 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 driving desktops. It's about a billion. It's really hard to count them. And about a hundred million of them are various forms of TV devices, whether they're like, like Blu-ray players or or cable TV set-top boxes or you know, a variety of other things that, that, that people would identify as televisions. Um, there's about 2.6 billion of them that are, that are cell phones. Um, you know, the the WMD world has been around for about a decade now, and it's really, really quite enormous. You know, it doesn't have quite the blitz of the iPhone, but it's certainly got a lot more volume. Um, and of course, the big one for us in terms of volume has been smart cards. Um, and not many people really play with smart cards very much on the inside, or even use them all the time. Um, but, you know, they're, they're, they're actually, I think, a pretty important thing for people to think about. And there, there are new generations of smart cards, I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, but I think they're actually pretty, pretty exciting for, for developers because they've become something that really it is actually an easy to develop. Um, and a pile of other business. Um, most of the job business out there are not ones you would actually recognize as job business. So this is an Amazon Kindle. Um, it's a job device. Um, we did all the sort of core platform software in it. Um, so every time anybody uses a job Kindle, there. They're using a job device. Uh, and you can find lots of these around. Um, all, the, all the marketing people at Sun and Oracle have always been grumpy at us because there aren't like little Java logos every place that you go and see Java. But I, you know, if there was a Java logo everywhere, the world would be paved with Java logos. Um, you really can you know, do a financial transaction, buy or sell stock. Um, Book an airplane flight, uh, make a phone call without there being a job hack involved over the planet. It's really, it's really.